Textron Aviation and Babcock International have developed the first Cessna Citation Latitude, configured for air ambulance operations, and it's going to be flown by the Air Ambulance Services of Norway this summer. The Special Mission Business Jet is part of an 11 aircraft order that includes 10 Beechcraft King Air 250s. The King Airs are useful for many missions, but there are special circumstances where the latitude can save critical time. The latitude was ideally chosen specifically to open up city pairs that while the King Air can meet that mission, it does so over a number of fuel stops. The latitude, based in Oslo, will open up all of the, the region to single non-stop operations. We can fly from the north to the major hospitals in an hour less flight time with one of these than we can with uh, King Air. That's why the jet is such a vital new service to those in the north of Norway. We worked very closely with Babcock to make sure that the airplane would fit their mission requirements. Things like additional electrical capability or oxygen capability or sealing on the floors uh, all made this airplane very unique for their application and it's made it ideally suited for, for the aeromedical evacuation. If you think about the equipment that's installed on this airplane, it is on par with and uh, can provide all of the capabilities essentially of an ICU ward in a specialized hospital. In Babcock's aviation business, we do three things. Uh, we save lives, we protect communities, and we support defense of the nations. In saving lives, we have an aerial emergency medical services fleet. In firefighting, we do aerial firefighting, and we support military work in, in the UK and France on pilot training. We have 530 aircraft, uh, 1,300 pilots across our business and we're absolutely delighted to be introducing a new fleet of aircraft in a new operational area for us, bringing the Latitude and King Air 250s to Norway for the first time, taking that fleet operational from the 1st of July uh, 2019. Tor Mata, originally from Sweden, started his career flying commercial scheduled routes in the US and Europe, and now flies as captain of the Citation. We asked him what he thinks about flying for the Air Ambulance Service. Flying the ambulance, every morning you wake up, it's a, a, a new day with new routes, new airports, new patients. Uh, one day is not like the other day, ever. And also, flying the ambulance is, you're doing a social service. So it feels a lot of fun to be around patients and be around medical crews. And we're all connected with the intercoms. So they get to hear what we're working with up in the cockpit, and we get to hear what they're doing back in the cabin, treating the patients. From a psychological standpoint, is it difficult? Do you have to really get into a zone where you're not worried about, let's say, like, it's a life or death situation? It definitely gets to you. Uh, I've been in situations where I know in northern Sweden that we have to fly these patients, otherwise these patients will not get treatment uh, who it needs. And I've been to situations where, you know, you take the aircraft out and we always have the door open between the cockpit and the cabin. And um, maybe you have a child and suddenly you hear the child cry or scream. It can really get to your heart. But it, it, I've been to those situations where, you know, you feel through your body that this is important. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.